get to our planner our next 12 hours. We're still going to be watching for a couple of thunderstorms right around seven o'clock by nine. Things should eventually begin to dry out maybe and just maybe a severe storm by about nine. But then after that, things clear out. But notice as we go through the early morning hours, we start to factor in some showers and thunderstorms and tomorrow morning will be a first warning weather day because of this cold front that's going to work through. So ahead of that, we have some prefrontal storms, even some sea breeze showers and thunderstorms. That's where we're seeing the strong activity. And then back behind that, it's a dying line of storms. But the main system for tomorrow morning will be that cold front. So let's just talk about this evening, what we're expecting again by 9, 10, things quickly clear out again, maybe an isolated strong storm by about 9 through Midnight, we're looking good, but then by two, here comes that front. A couple of developing showers and thunderstorms in our north and northwestern locations quickly moving towards the I-4 corridor between 4 and 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. And really after about two is when we have, have the opportunity to see another round of severe storms. First system moves out and then another batch of storms moves in by 6, 7 o'clock in the morning by 9 and 10. A couple of more showers down to our southeast, but clearing back towards our northwest and then the rest of the day is shaping up to be absolutely beautiful. So tonight all the way through about nine, we have an isolated severe weather threat. And then tomorrow morning again after two o'clock all the way through about eight, nine o'clock tomorrow uh, morning, we'll be watching for another round of scattered strong to severe storms. So that's why tomorrow is going to be a first warning weather day, maybe a strong storm left over by nine, but the rest of your afternoon on Sunday is looking really good. Now what we're expecting tomorrow morning early morning again will be severe winds, hail as well as a tornado threat. So all of those impacts are still certainly possible. The rest of the week shaping up to be absolutely quiet after we had a very busy week here in Central Florida with numerous severe weather uh, systems moving through. So again, Sunday morning, we're just talking about the strong and severe storms. The afternoon looking quiet rest of the week ahead looking nice and quiet as well. So tonight expect storms to end, but tomorrow morning we'll be tracking early morning storms and then afternoon clearing. So tomorrow will be a first warning weather day. Next couple of days, not too bad. 83 on Monday, quiet all the way through Friday. Next opportunity for rain arrives on Saturday.